हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आर बी कुशवाहा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिवीजन ऑफ वेटनरी क्लिनिकल कॉम्प्लेक्स एफ वी एस सी एम एच एट स्कॉस जम्मू वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल सो काइंडली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन फॉर द फॉर द नोटिफिकेशन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पर्टिकुलर हार्ट स्कोर हाउ टू मेजर द हार्ट साइज इन रिलेशन टू द वर्टिकुलर बॉडी सो दिस वर्टिकुलर हार्ट स्कोर इज वेरी यूजफुल टू मेजर द कार्डियक इलार्जमेंट और डी सी एम डायलेटेड कार्डियक माओपैथी या कार्डियोमेगरी सो टू मेजर द वर्टिकुलर हार्ट स्कोर वी मस्ट हैव द राइट लेटरल व्यू ऑफ द थोरैक्स एज यू कुड सी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर रेडियोग्राफ सो टू मेजर द वर्टिकुलर हार्ट स्कोर First, we draw a straight line starting from the ventral margin of the carina, that is the bifurcation of the trachea, up to the apex. So this is the long axis of the heart. And then, second measurement, which is the short axis of the heart, we start from the cranial cardiac ciliar at the maximum width. so this one is the maximum width and it should be intersect the long axis at the right angle this is the right angle and normally it lies just below the uh, ventral border of the caudal vena cava so we measure the this long axis and short axis in relation to the vertebral body so for that so we should start uh, the measuring of the this long axis and short axis starting from the cranial border of the fourth thoracic vertebral body so which one is fourth thoracic vertebra it is very simple this one is the first thoracic vertebral body this one is the second this one is the third so this is the fourth thoracic vertebral body and this one is the cranial edge the cranial end plate so we start from the here and then we take a straight way and the long axis is 86.36 so we measure around 86 this is 78 so 85 so this is roughly okay so this one is the long axis now we measure the short axis starting from the same and from starting from the same this the cranial margin of the Four thoracic vertebral body, and it is seventy-seven. So seventy-three, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-eight, and seventy-seven. So this is almost okay. Now we count the number of thoracic vertebral body occupied by the sum of the short axis as well as the long axis. So if you count, so this is the one, two, three. Four. This is the five. So it is five point two five by the long axis, and one, two, three, four, and four point seven five by the short axis. So five and four is nine, and point two five and point seven five. So it is ten. So over overall, so this is the ten vertebral heart score. So VHS is ten V. V is the unit of the vertebral heart score. so for the vertebral heart score uh, the cardiac size is okay because the it is a small breed it is a spitz dog so for spitz dog or for a small uh, size dog the average is from 8.5 to 10.5 vhs however in the large breeds of dog like uh, german shepherd golden retriever and uh, labrador retriever and then boxer so sometime it is mentioned in the book that vertebral heart score is normal up to even up to the 11 or 11.5 so as per vertebral heart score it is absolutely normal so this is how we uh, estimate the vertebral heart score uh, on a right lateral radiograph so thank you for watching uh, the video and if you like the video so kindly share with your friend and subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you